Uh, next is Blaise Friedis. Good morning. I'd like to thank State Surgeon General Joseph Latipo for seeking Florida medical guidelines which prohibit medical doctors from prescribing puberty blockers and cross-sex hormones for children and from performing sex change surgeries on children. Dr. Latipo correctly asserts that puberty blocker drugs and cross-sex hormones cause irreversible, lifelong injury to children such as loss of bone mass, blood clots, and lifelong sterility. Until the Florida legislature criminalizes medical doctors performing genital mutilation surgery on children, the Board of Medicine and Board of Osteopathic Medicine should adopt the recommendations of State Surgeon General Latipo. It is an oxymoron to call sex chain surgery for children, quote, gender affirming care, end quote, as there is no care being provided, but instead only child abuse, which has been outlawed and criminalized in some states in America. What is happening is that social media such as TikTok promotes gender dysphoria, which leads to peer pressure among teenagers and preteens to succumb to the pressure to believe that they should try to become the opposite sex. In the extremely rare cases of gender dysphoria, the child invariably is experiencing depression, which will pass with time and perhaps treatment. The solution to this temporary depression in children is not irreversible side effects of puberty blocking drugs and cross-sex hormones and life altering irreversible sex change surgery. It is way past time for women, for women and feminists to reject men's false assertion that men can become women by putting on a dress and makeup and take some hormones. When feminists succumb to the false demands of these transgender men who claim now to be women, the feminists are victims of what they say they are fighting against, which is patriarchal men dominating and controlling them, women. Transgender men dominating girls and women in high school sports, in college sports, public discourse, public policy, and every other aspect of society. Women should stand up against this attempt by transgender men to dominate women. University of Kentucky swimming champion, champion Riley Gaines has been outspoken on television arguing against transgender men, such as Leah Thomas, being allowed to dominate women swimmers in the college swimming championships. Ms. Gaines spoke the truth when she said that Womanhood is not a mental disorder suffered by men. That concludes my remarks. I'd just like to say that I agree with the board member in the front who uh, says to leave the clinical studies out of this proposed rule. It seems to be complicating it greatly. And as the gentleman said, there's 49, 49 other states where these studies can be done. And I think it would be better to leave that out. I appreciate it. It looks like you're going in the right direction. Please continue. Thank you. Thank you. Uh